now welcome to fourth grade, chapter nine, lesson seven. This is the conclusion of chapter nine. So let's get started. So when I compare numbers, um, it's kind of like using ABC order, okay? So when the first number is the same, then you don't use it. So like if I had two words that both started with A, I would go to the next letter, okay? Well, both of those are sixes or Bs, so that's not going to change, okay? Well, this is a zero, so it doesn't actually change the value at all. I could put a zero right here and it wouldn't matter. So these ones are actually equal, okay? Now, if I did that with these next ones, okay, zeros are the same. Now, I have one that's a two and one that's a three. This one's bigger, boom, okay? So if you need to line them up, go ahead and line them up. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So number four says 0 0.94 or 0 0.9. Well, if you wanted to, you could add a zero there just so that you have the same amount of numbers. It doesn't change it. Zeros are the same. Nines are the same. Oh, that one's got a four. That one's bigger, okay? So go ahead and do that for five through seven, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and see if these are true or false. Okay, so let's go ahead and line up our numbers. Well, we could use the number line as well. Okay, so we have 0 0.8, which is right about there. And then for 0.78, we'd have to go back a couple. So that means that 0 0.8 is bigger. Okay, so if we're starting at 0 0.8 and we go back this way, it means that 0.8 is bigger. If we start at 0.8 and we go this way, it means that 0.8 is smaller, okay? So 0.8, we're going to have to go backwards for a 0 0.7 anything, 0.7 anything. So it doesn't matter if it's 0 0.70, we'd have to go back. 0.79, we'd have to go back, okay? So that means 0 0.8 is bigger. That makes this true, okay? Now, here's 0.4, and then we it wants us to go to 0.8. 0.8 is all the way over here. So 0.8 is bigger, but this says that 0.8 is smaller. So it's going to be false. Okay. Now, 0.7 and 0.70, remember that that zero doesn't change a value of anything. So they're both 0.7, which means that it's going to be false because it says that this one is bigger. It's not bigger. They're the same. Okay. So we have 0.4 and we have 0.04. Okay, well, 0.4 is going to be bigger. That makes that true. Okay, so do the same exact thing here for 12 through 15. Okay, you're just going to see if it's true or false. Okay, just pay attention to which way the sign is going, or if it says equal, make sure that they line up, make sure they're the same number. Okay, so we are going to go down to number 16, where it says Kelly walks 0 0.7 miles to school. Mary walks 0.49 miles to school. Write an inequality using the greater than, less than, or equal sign. Compare the distance they walk to school. So we have a 0.7, and we have a 0.49. Well, 0.4 or 0.7. Well, 7 is bigger. So that's it. That's all you're doing, guys. Okay? You can write it, you can put a zero there like it does up there. It doesn't change anything. Okay. You can put a zero here. It doesn't change anything. Okay. All right. Tyrone shades two decimal grids. He shades 0 0.03 of the squares on the grid blue. He shades 0 0.3 of another grid red. Which grid has the greater part? So 0 0.03 or 0 0.3. So if we're doing it like our ABC order, Okay, now I'm going to put a zero there just so I have the same amount of numbers, okay? Well, zeros are the same. Oh, three. This one's bigger, okay? Okay, so since the point three is bigger, that's the red one. Okay? All right. So we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're going to go down and do the spiral review, okay? Number three says, Pedro has 35 cents in his pocket. Alice has 40 cents in her pocket. 
How much money do Pedro and Alex have all together? Well, 0 0.35 and 0 0.40. Don't forget to put a dollar sign before it. Zero, drop your decimal. Five plus zero is five and three plus four is seven. That's it, guys. Okay. The measure 62 centimeters is equivalent to 62 over 100 meters. What is this measure written as a decimal? Well, 0.62, the two is in the hundredth spot, so we're good. Okay, and that would be in meters. Okay, you can put a zero before it, doesn't change anything, okay? All right, Joel has 24 sports trophies. Of the trophies, one eighth of the trophies are soccer. How many soccer trophies? So, he has 24 and one eighth of them are for soccer, okay? I'm gonna put that 24 over a one, okay? 24 over one is the same thing as 24, okay? So eight goes into eight once, eight goes into 24 three times. If I multiply straight across now, then I get three over one, which is the same thing as three. So three soccer trophies, done. Okay, make sure you share your work, guys. All right, Molly's jump rope is six and a third feet long. Gail's jump rope is four and two thirds feet long. How much longer is Molly's jump rope? So, all right, let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and oh no. Okay, sorry guys. All right, so six and one third. And we have to find the difference, so we have to subtract four and two thirds. Okay, so now you'll see that one can't take away two. Okay, our denominators are the same, which is good, but one can't take away two. So I have to borrow one, making that a five. And I'm going to add one, but when I add one, I'm going to add a three over three because that's what my denominators are, so I can automatically add it. So now I have five and four over three. Subtract four and two over three, okay? So one plus three is that four. My denominator stays the same. And now I have enough that I can take away the other one, okay? So five minus four is one, four minus two is two, and I keep my denominator. So one and two thirds feet, okay? Make sure y'all show your work, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter nine. Come on back for chapter 10.